Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Taylor and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out and reviewing and applying the new Kiss Allure Press On Nails. These are the Gel Fantasy Allure Press On Nails. They are new and just came out recently, so I am going to be reviewing them. I will be having a wear test at the end of the video so you can see how long these nails lasted. If you guys are interested, just keep watching before we start today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you. Also, make sure of your post notifications turned on so you don't miss an upload. And let's hop into this Kiss Gel Fantasy Allure review for Press On Nails. So these are the ones that I chose. I found several different um, styles at Walmart is where I did get these. Um, they're in the link short and here's an up close look of what they look like. So I'm kind of interested to see on how well these are going to last, especially um, some of the nails have like a right, like are raised up and have like that little design on them. So I wonder if it will fall, come off or if it's anything like that. Um, like, like rhinestones do pop off pretty easy. Um, so I'm going to be testing these out today. Now I'm just going to be unboxing them and showing you guys what comes with the nails. So like most of the Kiss Press On Nails, um, it just comes with the all the nails. Then it has this glue and I'm going to open it up and there is a double sided file and then a nail tool as well. The next step, I'm just going to be going through all of the nails and sizing them up to my natural nails and seeing what fits best and works best for each nail and kind of picking the layout of the design that I want. I'm not going to be going too in depth with the whole process of applying them because I have several videos where I explain my full process in um, applying my nails to get them to last the longest. So I'm going to kind of just show you guys a little bit. Um, if you're interested in seeing a more in depth video, I will have those linked down below. So here is the layout that I chose and what fit best for my nails. I didn't have any problems really trying to find nails that fit. Um, I don't have to modify any of them, they all fit. So here's the double-sided file that comes with the nails and I'm just gonna go ahead and use it and I'm gonna be prepping my nails to apply them. So I'm gonna be taking the rougher side of that file and just filing down um, around my nails so my natural nails are not showing underneath the fake nail and then I'll take the um, other side of that file it's not as harsh and I'll just be um, roughing up my nail bed with that a little bit this is going to um, make it where the glue can hold better and last longer
And I'll just repeat that process on all of my nails. After that, you can use an alcohol wipe if you want. They don't give you one in the Kiss Nails, but you can buy them um, in the store. And then you're ready to just start applying the nails. So this is the nail glue that came with the nails. I believe it is a pink nail glue. Um, I can't, yeah, it was a pink nail glue. So now I'm just ready to start applying them and I'm gonna be opening the glue and um, starting that process. I am going to be starting with my pinky nail first and wait, working my way all the way to doing my thumb last. So I will do the pinky nail on each hand and then work my way to doing each finger on each hand and the pinky very last. This is going to help the process. Um, it's going to be a lot easier in applying the nails and a lot faster as well. Um, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of the glue on my nail and then press down. Um, I'm trying to be really careful and not use too much glue because it can be bad if you use too much glue. Glue goes everywhere and makes a mess, but if you don't use enough, then your um, nails probably won't last as long. And here is the final look after I applied all the nails. I really like um, how it turned out. I like the layout that I um, ended up with. And I really love the glittery nails. They are so like vibrant and bold. Um, it's very, very glittery. So I will be doing a wear test at the end of the video that you can stay tuned for and see how well these um, nails hold up and last. Okay, so it is six days later and I'm actually in the middle of shopping at Ross's and my nail is busted and coming off. As you guys can see, it split down the center and then while I was thumbing through the clothes, it just cracked. <laughs> All right, so it hasn't been quite two weeks yet, but it's getting really close to the two week mark. Um, I think I'm just a couple days short of two weeks, um, but the you just seen a clip of when my thumbnail broke when I was in the store shopping. I have the date inserted on that clip of when that happened. Um, but now this other thumbnail is starting to do the same thing. It split down the center right here. It was going over towards the side. But it's like not really a big deal anymore because I am going to be removing them later today. Um, I lost both middle fingers and then both thumbs. The rest are still on. Um, I thought it was really weird that both thumbnails like split down the middle. I don't, I can't remember ever having that happen. Um, so I thought that was a little bit different, but otherwise the nails, I love how they fit and I loved how they looked. I didn't have any problems finding nails that fit my natural nails. Um, I didn't have to modify them or um, make them any smaller. I didn't have problems finding nails um, and they lasted almost two weeks. I've had nails last a lot longer than these, I will say. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how long they did last. I still got um, a good amount of wear time out of but anyways, them. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.